Don't ask the captain to shake your hand, and if you're too young, you might be blocked from cruising. We're talking about the seven weird rules on cruise ships and why they exist. Well, well ahoy there, cruisers. cruisers. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Coming up, we've got seven weird rules you'll find on a cruise ship and why they exist. Let's get started with rule number one. So number one, don't be offended by this first rule. If the captain or crew member does not oblige, you are not allowed to shake hands with the captain or crew members. Now, this might seem obvious in the COVID era, but this rule actually dates back to 2015. Back in 2015, a few cruise lines added a rule that passengers are not allowed to shake hands with the crew members and captains due to the possible spreading of unwanted and dangerous viruses. So this makes perfect sense now. Not every cruise line has this rule, but it's something to keep in mind if you put your hand out and are refused. This rule exists to keep you and the crew members safe. The next rule is all about age. So we know you need to be over 18 or 21 to drink alcohol depending where you are. But did you know with some cruise lines, if you're not old enough, you might not be allowed to cruise at all. Yes, even if you're in your 30s or 40s, some cruise lines will not allow you to sail with them. Some vacations are intended solely for adults even older ones. For example, Saga Cruises, you have to be over the age of 50 to travel with them. Windstar Cruises does not permit children under the age of 8 to board its ships, and any guest under the age of 21 must be accompanied by a guest who is 25 years or older. Virgin Voyages are an adult-only cruise line too, not allowing children at all. This rule exists as some people don't want to travel on cruises with kids and families. They want relaxation away from the noise and the sight of kids. Number three, this one involves food and drink. You are not allowed to take any food from the ship into port. You might be used to taking a piece of fruit, a muffin or some other snack for later when staying in a land-based hotel, grabbing it from the buffet or from the restaurant. Now this is perfectly acceptable on land, but it is not allowed on cruise ships. If you are about to exit the ship to explore a nearby port, taking food with you is strictly prohibited. This isn't because a ship is stingy on food or doesn't want you to take it off. It's because of the local agricultural laws in every country, and they're usually actively enforced. You could introduce some type of bacteria or bugs from fruits and vegetables into other countries which could cause havocs on local farms and produce. Sneaking food on or off the ship can lead to a big fine or even trouble with the law. Ooh. Honestly, we have seen such big scenes in port over a single banana, they really take this seriously. Pre-packaged foods such as chocolate bars and bags of crisps or chips are usually fine to take off, so you're okay with them. Number four. Did you know that some cruise lines have strict policies against wearing hats and flip-flops? Whilst these are fine to wear outside, they're not allowed in restaurants and dining venues of some cruise lines. And we agree with this rule. Some cruise lines won't even allow jeans in the main dining rooms, as they are seen as too casual. Especially cruise lines like Disney, Cunard and most of the luxury cruise lines. The general rule is bare feet, tank tops, baseball caps, bathing suits, shorts and jeans are not allowed in the main dining rooms or whilst eating in speciality restaurants. When inside, shirts and shoes are required at all times. So no bare feet and guys, put a top on. And it's not just whilst on the cruise. Some ports have dress codes too. You'll want to avoid packing camouflage clothing, especially whilst in the Caribbean. Countries such as Barbados, Jamaica and St Lucia reserve the print for the military, so it'll be frowned upon. Some countries, especially in the Middle East, require longer trousers instead of shorts and require arms to be covered. It's always worthwhile checking before you leave so you're respectful and don't offend the locals by breaking the rules. These rules exist to make everybody comfortable and keep things as respectful as possible. Number five. Now, this is a controversial one. It's all about tipping. Unlike real life, where you tip waiters and bar staff every time you get a drink or leave a restaurant, well, cruise is quite different. It's usually all automatic. There is no need to leave any cash tip behind or slip the waiter a cheeky dollar bill for better service. I mean, you can, but it's not necessary. The general rule is you just do nothing. I know it sounds a little bit wrong, but it's true. 
Each day, you are automatically billed for gratuities for the wait staff, drinks, housekeeping, all the behind the scenes staff. So it's actually super simple. Some cruise lines are even doing away with tips and including them in the price of your cruise. What happens if you get bad service though? Sometimes it can be hard to remove your tips. Some cruise lines, such as Carnival Cruise Lines, don't even allow it. But please don't be stingy. The crew work long hours and are often at sea for eight month stretches, sending the bulk of their cash wages back home to their family. The tipping rule exists to make things as easy as possible for you whilst on the cruise. So take advantage of it. Just don't do anything, just pay your tips right at the end. You are sorted. Rule number six is about alcohol. Sneaking alcohol on board ships is prohibited. Some cruise lines do allow you to bring on a bottle of wine each, but others have a no strict, no carried on alcohol policy. Make sure you stick within these rules. Unlike other forms of travel, such as hotel stays, you can't bring alcohol on board. Some people try to get around these rules by filling up water bottles or hiding alcohol in shampoo bottles. And we've seen some bizarre methods. But if you get caught, you could be denied boarding. Once on board, if you want to drink your own bottle of wine in a restaurant or a public area, the cruise line will charge you a corkage fee. We've seen this as high as $25 per bottle just to drink your own bottle of wine. So it may be just as cheap to buy a bottle of wine while you're on board the ship. These alcohol rules exist so that people are not getting blind drunk in their cabins, which leads to antisocial behavior. This is a moving vehicle and the rules are there to keep you safe. Number seven, finally, this is one of the most important rules. You may not be aware, but if you skip this rule, you could be thrown off the ship as it's a legal requirement. The muster drill is a safety drill that takes place before every sailing. It's much like the safety demonstration you see like on a plane, where the flight attendants point out the exits. It's an exercise everyone must master in case of an emergency, so please don't miss this. Yes, we know they can be boring, especially if you've sailed a thousand times, but please still take notice and listen. Every cruise ship and every cruise line are different. It's so important and one day it could save your life. The rule exists to protect you and others around you. So please, please, please spend the 10 minutes it takes. And after COVID anyway, it looks like it's going to get easier. You might be doing it on your phone or on a stateroom TV. So just do it. Do it, do it, do it. That's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Have you heard of any weird rules on cruise lines? Please let us know about them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And a big thank you to all of our amazing patrons. You guys are incredible and keep our channel running through all of these difficult times. We bring you extra behind the scenes footage and episodes as well as postcards whilst we're away. The captain of the week is Raymond. So ahoy there, Raymond. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.